Well, good morning and welcome to Meat and Potatoes. This will be a little bit of a different Meat and Potatoes because, as you can see, the snow has kept us from morning worship. So I thought I'd just invite you to morning worship with me. And so, if you will join me in your room, let's sing together. Go tell it on the mountain, over the hills and everywhere. Go tell it on the mountain that Jesus Christ is born. You know, there is a, a verse in that song that I never knew. It says, When I am a seeker, I seek both night and day. I seek the Lord to help me, and he shows me the way. So let's go tell it on the mountain. Or how about this? One more song in our worship package. Oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come, let us adore him oh come let us adore him christ the lord you see we need to worship wherever we are we can't always do it corporately but we can do it individually and so i want to join you today i want to invite you to join today in this time of worship will you take a minute and let's pray together Lord, thank you for this beautiful winter Sunday morning. And we're not in morning worship, but we are worshiping you individually and we give you praise. Thank you for your provision and your watch care and for the gift of Jesus. And get us ready to receive it, we pray in his name. Amen. Well, I want to point you to the scripture and read you a text this morning and get you headed toward next week. We're going to be looking next week at Matthew chapter 2, which is a story of the coming of the wise man. And uh, you really must begin to hear it and process it and think about it as we move into this second week of Advent. Listen to the word of the Lord. In the time of King Herod, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, wise men came from the east to Jerusalem asking, Where is the child who has been born king of the Jews? For we observed his star at its rising and have come to pay him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was frightened and all Jerusalem with him. And calling together all the chief priests and the scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Messiah was to be born. They told him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for it has been written so by the prophets. And you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judea, are by no means least among the rulers of Judea. For from you shall come a ruler who is to shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod secretly called for the wise men, and learn from them the exact time the star appeared. Then he sent to Bethlehem, saying, Go and search diligently for the child, and when you found him, bring him me word, so that I may go and pay him homage. When they had heard the king, they set out, and there ahead of them went the star, until they seen the place that it had risen. There it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they rejoiced with great joy. In fact, the scripture says, they were overwhelmed with joy. I challenge you this week to study Matthew chapter 2. Tell me who the chapter is really all about. Look at the story of Herod. Look at the story of the wise men and their coming to Jesus. Study about the word for their worship and see what it means. And when we meet together next week, we will delve into that passage in a wonderful way. But we don't have to wait till next week to worship. Today is the day of worship. And we worship him together though individually i invite you to continue the spirit of worship all day long on this beautiful day the lord has made and would you just share this little facebook video with your friends and may we have the greatest number of morning worshipers we've ever had together thank you for joining us for this morning worship and for just the meat and potatoes